continue on in our series about advice for the 21st century, Paul is again writing to his young friend Timothy, helping him to understand what it's going to take to live out the life of a believer in the first century and therefore helping us understand it hasn't changed in the 21st century. So in verse 3 of 2 Timothy chapter 2, he encourages Timothy to suffer hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Now, suffering doesn't really register a whole lot to believers in the United States because we really don't know what it is to suffer much for the gospel of Jesus Christ. But we need to understand all around the world today, there are people that are suffering because they believe Jesus Christ. They are losing their life. They're suffering imprisonment. There are women that are suffering being mistreated. Hundreds of people give their life for the cause of the gospel only because they suffer hardship as a good soldier for Jesus Christ. You see, William Barclay helps us. He's a commentator from years ago by to understand what it is that Paul's talking about when he says suffering hardship as a soldier. Because Roman soldiers, when they enlisted, they understood that they were part of a campaign and they couldn't get tangled up in the everyday affairs. They had to focus and concentrate on their training and where they were. They had to understand immediate and complete obedience. And they had to understand loyalty. When you signed up as a Roman soldier, you were signing up to be loyal. And so we as Christians, when we become Christians, we understand that we are no longer ourselves. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that we've been bought with a price. Our loyalty belongs to Jesus Christ because of our faith and our suffering. We're gonna suffer in that relationship. It's not something that we go looking for, but it's part of the faith. As a matter of fact, I would say this, the only faith that doesn't demand suffering doesn't demand sacrifice. You see, suffering isn't the goal of the Christian faith, but when we stand for Christ in a world that's so opposed to it, even in America, it will split families. It will cause decisions, not to decide on my side or your side, but because of Jesus Christ. And he said that. He said that in this world, you'll have trouble, but take heart, I've overcome the world. You see, suffering is not something we go looking for, but when we're living for Jesus, you will suffer, but take heart. He's faithful, be a good soldier. And remember, the one who calls you will keep you. God bless you.